was going to have to review a video game movie at some point, and so I decided it was going to be Final Fantasy Spirits Within. Part of the reason for that is because I saw this when I was a teenager, and I remember quite liking it then. And so it's good to have a bit of a retrospective, because this being a Squaresoft motion-captured movie, entirely made up by the same technology they do to make their bleeding cutscenes, it'll be very interesting to see how well it's aged. <laughs> Because their games haven't. Even now, I haven't found myself complaining that much about the uncanny valley nature of the movie. I grew up with video games, I grew up with CGI, I grew up with the mainframe entertainment CGI, which is a hell of a lot worse. I don't really care. I th still think it's fine. It's not great. It's not absolute perfect CGI. It's th it doesn't pale. It's pale in comparison to the motion capture technology we have now. It looks like a video game cutscene, and that's pretty much it's by Squaresoft. What the fuck else would you expect, really? Welcome back, Captain. We're playing. Let's make sure of that, shall we? But, looking back at it now, I do have a few problems, but I do have more issues with it now. One thing that has remained an issue, but has become more of an issue now, is the voice acting. I just don't know, Aki because some parts of it... And what exactly does that mean, Doctor? ...are just shit. What have I done? And I think that ends up coming from the motion capture nature of it, because you have people like Alec Baldwin are kind of physical actors as well. They, well, he's a very professional actor, and part, part, part of acting is having the physicality and the face to go along with things like this, and it's in in a motion capture movie, he's just not very good. And so now I have more of a problem with the dialogue, partly because the script is fucking dumb at times. So, if I point a gun at the earth and fire, I'm not just making a hole in the ground, I'm killing the planet. But also because they hired very good actors, but they have to convey it via their voice. These people are Nolan North. They can't, they don't have the physicality to over-exaggerate, sort of the very almost pantomime-esque nature you have to have to do motion capture, at least back then at the time. The setting itself is great, the sort of ghost post-apocalypse, it's really good. The sub-characters are more fun than the main characters, which makes you hate the main characters more because the sub-characters just die, which is really annoying because I wanted the sub-characters to be the main characters because the main characters suck. And I want to have a little Neil Jr. calling me daddy someday. That's a spooky thought. And then there are some parts of the plot that just move on because... Spirits! Yes. The spirit of the earth. So has this movie aged well? Kinda? in a way, but that's partly down to me. It came to me, or came to my part of the generation, that sort of late 80s, early 90s generation, where we just grew up with CGI. So it largely doesn't matter to us. But in regards to plot and vocal action and how the computer graphics can be compared to today, it's not very good. The voices, not great. The acting, eh. Uh, story is terrible. The setting is good though. 